thing. I just restarted my phone. I wonder if that has. I just used my own. I wonder if that has some thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just used my own personal shit instead of the whales, and it worked. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. I did this. I was. Uh, I just reset my phone too, though. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Maybe who knows. It's all good. Shitty, or should, I, should I turn it the other way? <laughs> No, actually, it'll be better whenever I when I go to edit the video. It'll be better. If like uh, this. Yeah, but I mean, Can I've been doing it the properly. Other, been doing them the other way. The other way. Yeah, I've been doing them the other way. Yeah. Okay, let's do it the other way then, because this looks fucked up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Let's see if I can make this work. Uh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Make it feel nostrils in the nose and stuff. Yeah. It's day, it's day 11 quarantine. Uh, I haven't combed my hair in 17 months. No. Uh, okay. I, oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. How you, how you been, man? Fine. Just locked up here. Um, drinking. Coors Light a lot. Are you by, are you all by yourself, or are you do you have somebody to quarantine with? I have, yeah, my room my roommate, my brother, he lives in the other room. Oh, that's cool, man. Hell yeah, yeah. You know, you know my brother too, right? You know Justin. I was talking to Flint Brewer today, and he was like, "That's Justin's brother." I was like, "No <laughs> shit." Yeah, dude. yeah, that, that's awesome. Yeah, man, they've been like best friends. <laughs> My whole life, shit. I mean, it's been 15 years. I was his boss at, at the mall at Zoomies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't a very good boss. I wasn't much of a boss, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, pause on my face. Oh, there it goes. Hey, man, I mean, we all got to start somewhere. I remember him talking about that job, and then it was, uh, what was it, uh, Fast Forward? It was Fast Forward first, and then they got bought out while I was working there, and then it was Zoomies, yeah. Oh, that's when it became Zoomies, okay. That shit was awesome, dude. <laughs> it was. We did whatever we wanted to. It was uh, it was complete chaos for a long time. <laughs> we would, yeah, we would have over... sessions in the store. You know, we'd skate the benches in the store. Oh, my God. Yeah. It wow. Was, it was awesome, yeah. Well, well, so what's the name of your band? Just in case for anybody who doesn't know, I'm in a band called The Well. The Well, where did why why is it called The Well? Where did that come from? I was looking for a name, and I was in my car one day. I been I had this list of probably sixty names, and none of them are right. And I was sitting in my car looking at my phone, and Wi-Fi popped up. And I was in a parking lot, and I guess there's a church around. I it said The Well, and I was like, boom! It like it was like a lightning bolt. You know, like fucking, <laughs> Bam. That, that was wow. it. That was it? It was from Wi-Fi password, yeah. Or fucking Wi-Fi password. Yeah. Well, so what do you consider your, your like, your genre? Oh, I... Uh, that's really for other... That's for, like, record stores to, like, put it, like... So it can be put in a proper fucking place to sell it. I, I don't really know. I mean, it's dark. It's definitely, like... Uh, like, Black Sabbath. No, I mean, like, you know, when you when you listen to it, what is it? what kind of feeling do you get? Do you kind of... Feel like you go in the doom category, or like I don't really listen to it. <laughs> no, it it's, it's it's definitely from the doom vein. I think there's other shit in there, uh, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, doom. I guess I hate the stoner rock name. Like that's just yeah. Sounds, that sounds like that shit. Sounds bad. You know? That sounds bad. Yeah, it just sounds fucking dumb. But yeah, what, whatever. Whatever. If you like Stone Rock, you want to call it that. That's up to you. I'm just saying. I, I just don't like that particular fucking nomenclature. I don't, I don't like it. Well, um, do you remember your first like album? You know, like what what, what kind of got you into this music that you're playing? You know what um, I mean? I don't know. As far as like dark, spooky stuff, you know, my mom was really young, so we always watched horror movies. My dad is was a was a metal drummer in the '80s and he liked Black Sabbath a lot, so it was always Black Sabbath from the beginning. I mean, I like Michael Jackson and all that shit, too, but, I mean, Black Sabbath and uh, anything that was, like, 
like dark and heavy like that. I liked a whole bunch. Alice Cooper was really cool. My mom was really into him, so that was constant. Um, anything that was like, I like stuff, you know, like about ghosts and going insane and just shit like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, so how long have y'all known each other? Have y'all always, have y'all known each other for a while? Like, just as long as y'all have known my brother? Or, like, how did that? Uh, how the band, like, well. Yeah, how did the band you guys like? Jason, I was in, uh, like, other bands with years ago. I've known him since he was, like, 16 years old. He, he actually, I had a skate shop years ago, and he, he stole a T-shirt from me. And he was a little kid then. You know? <laughs> yeah. I was really fucking young, though. I was, like, 21 when I started that shop, and. He was like 16 or something. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so the young And thing. Lisa, Lisa I've known for like 10 or 11 years. Okay. Wow, so y'all just kind of like, just started hanging out and just kind of started the band, or? Well, I got thrown out of, of the band, thrown out of the band I was in before, and but for being like uh, too uh, withdrawn. And, and like despond I didn't fucking hang out with them right but I wrote everything so it was kind of stupid that they kicked me out but but um so then Jason was in that band he continued with that band me and Lisa started hanging out all the time and, and writing I, we would write in the garage with a guitar and a bass drum and like we just started making these songs and then we asked Jason if he would come to a practice and cut a demo, and then he was just all about it. So we just started playing. Like we practiced like three times a week. We were practicing like fucking thirty hours a week, you know, in the beginning. We were just full force. That was the first few years. We were just totally fucking James Brown in it, you know, in the beginning. There. Yeah, but yeah, but y'all are super tight. You can hear it, you know. You can tell. Yeah, we don't even practice anymore. It's just. <laughs> yeah, it's just I just like for you guys because you guys are so tight, you know. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, y'all just so y'all just kind of wing it. Y'all don't really practice much anymore. Uh, we practice before we go on tour a few days. I just sit at home and play. Like that's what we all do, you know. Uh, before a tour, we'll practice a bunch. And if we're if we're about to write an album, we practice. Well, we go back to the old way of practicing, like fifteen to thirty hours a week, just on the new songs. But if we're not writing, then I mean, we tour so fucking much. It, we don't want to hear ourselves, you know. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Until we want to write something, that's fun, you know. That's like the, you know, that's like new universes and shit. But I mean, you know, we know these songs pretty well. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like, yeah, you just get tired of playing your old shit. I'm just, I feel that. I feel that totally. Oh yeah, I just it, yeah. Unless it's in front of an audience, this guy kind of, is like, fuck, you know. Just, but that's the thing is you can't you can't just play new shit all the time too either right because you have to yeah people want to hear old shit so that's why we yeah. play a lot of old shit and people bump like oh you know play like three or four new songs or whatever we're playing now and uh, it's like well nobody wants to hear a bunch of that kind of isolates a fucking crowd like nobody wants to go see a con I never want to go see a concert like what are they cooking now a band that's been around for <laughs> fucking years you know it's like I'm yeah like, let's try to get the album and fucking digest it and then you know <laughs> well so um. So what kind of inspired you to play music? Have you always played music your whole life, or you just you skated too, right? Yeah, I've skated since I was a little kid. Um, so it was always that, and this, this sitting in my room and listening to fucking records and tapes and CDs. But but I knew I was going to be in a band. I mean, my dad was always in a band. Every male on that side of the family were all always musicians. I knew I was going to, but I started playing like at 16, so it was really late. Because I skated so fucking much, like obsessively. Um, Whoa! Why at sixteen? What kind of like? What was the what was the deciding factor there for you? For I I was staying at my dad's house. I I had gotten in trouble with the police, and I had to go live with my dad for a year. And he had his drums, and he wasn't playing anymore. So he was just like, "You want to learn how to play drums?" And I learned how to play drums. Yeah. And I wow. would sit in a basement every day, and he'd make me come home and practice for an hour before I go to sleep. So. Uh, wow. Yeah, so I learned how to play the drums, and I played the drums for years. Yeah. So that's so it was either do that or or fucking sit in your room and do nothing. Yeah, I just like either just fucking just. <laughs> it was a rough time for me <laughs> as far as substance and everything was going. So it was like my only thing. Like I I, I didn't skate for like two years. I was just uh, partying like really fucking bad, and that was like all. I, that was like my outlet, and I lived way out in the country with my dad very isolated 
and I would just sit and play those fucking drums all the time. And I would listen to, like, you know, Nirvana and shit like that, and the dead yeah. hands, I would just try to learn, like, those songs. And I was terrible at it forever. But um, I finally learned, and, uh, yeah. Dude, the, Nirvana's, Nirvana was my shit, oh, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I got I mean, the, I got the everybody. <laughs> Yeah, what? Cool yeah. I saw him in what Houston it? with Shona Knife and uh, the Breeders. Fucking How old are you? Fucking rogue, yeah. How old are you? I was 14, yeah, probably 13. And so right now you're what? Uh, I'm 41. <laughs> shut the hell up, dude. Yeah, I'm totally, yeah. Wow. I started skating in the 80s. <laughs> wow. See, this is why I stopped drinking milk. No. <laughs> what are you like? Are you like a super vegan? No, I'm just kidding. You know, I've been vegetarian for a long time. I just started eating meat. I was vegetarian for 20 years, so I'm starting to eat. Oh, a little wow! Bit. Wow! Um, That's probably that probably has something to do with it. It may be. Well, my old man's the same way. My mom is too. Like they just. My dad started getting gray in his like 50s. You know, he just like. Just party fucking people. <laughs> just really rugged ass jeans. <laughs> have you been have you been eating any different during the shutdown or what's you know, what's been your go to? I just got this veggie chorizo I'm really into. Um, <laughs> at night I'll just eat I just eat bullshit like sandwiches and shit, you know. No, yeah, I'm not I, a big food I, person. Yeah. I mean like I like food or whatever. You know, I have to eat it to live. But uh, I just, I'll just eat like a fucking chicken patty and go about my business. I don't really care. As long as I, it's like annoying to eat a lot of the time. Yeah, for sure. It's just like, just fill it, just like filler. Yeah, totally. I, you know, I'll, I just, I just like wait until about 7 30 and then I have a beer, you know, like that's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm waiting for. So, and I, I'm not usually like that, but this has really fucking made me drink more alcohol. What is this the whole shutdown? Yeah, same, dude. Yes, dude, it's fucking. I feel like so I cool. always have like a little. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, dude, right there. Oof. <laughs> <coughs> you, made me, you made me choke. <laughs> All right, let's get a little serious. If you had to say one nice thing about each band member, what what could you say? Let's start with Lisa. Lisa is uh, What's something you appreciate about them as a band member that they yeah. they really kind of pull it in for you. Um, Lisa is just fucking uh, talent. Just just she can sing and has perfect fucking timing. And like that's not normal shit. Like she can sing. And, like people are like, oh, I learned how to sing. It's like she did not learn how to fucking sing. She could always sing. It's amazing. It makes me sound good. Um, <laughs> the timing is fucking dead on. She's a she's a metronome. She doesn't have to try. I push things a little bit. I, I speed things up slightly. I'm trying to push against her usually, and she keeps it in pocket. As far as Jace, I mean Jason is just a fucking soldier, and uh, he needs no sleep. The dude can be like hungover as fuck, three hours sleep on tour, smiling and shit. This is. He's fucking all positive and jovial. And when me and Lisa are like, we're like, me and Lisa are rather dark people. <laughs> like, yeah. like kind of like not, not the most, you know, fucking happiest folks. And uh, a, a rough night is hard on us the next day. But Jason's always like, oh, man, let's get this go and shit like that. You know, I'm like, the dude just doesn't stop. And he's a fucking great drummer. He's a killer. There's never he will. He is a machine. And fucking, he's a soldier. Period. Yeah, the way he runs, it like just doesn't even skip a beat. You know? Yeah, no. I mean, he's just he. If he learns something, he has it for the rest of his life. It's just there. He's a killer. He's a really good guitar player too. I don't let him play guitar, but <laughs> <laughs> why? Um, no, he's a really good guitar player. But uh, okay, yeah, well, I'm the weakest fucking link. The only reason I'm here is because I write it. <laughs> you're just saying that because you're by yourself you know we're all feeling like that right now <laughs> all I do is play acoustic like folk songs on my acoustic guitar I'm not even doing anything <laughs> like that's what I just did yeah. and I learned like country licks and shit that's like what that. confessional covers 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, so during the shutdown, have you done anything different that you wouldn't normally have? Like, has it has it kind of like uh, have you started any any new creative endeavors? Uh, not really. Like I've been writing stuff on acoustic that I've just been. It's the time passer and it keeps me writing. I haven't yeah. had time. We haven't had time to do shit. You know, it's until now. Right. You know, okay, let's go. Um, was working on some country stuff with uh, with I'm just gonna say this with with Mika from Mono Lord, the bass player from Mono Lord. But then he went on tour and I went on tour and we've gotten off track there. I'm I'm gonna talk to him actually. Actually, this is a good memory jog. I'm gonna probably talk to him. I'm messaging him tonight to see if he still wants to do anything because we're both fucking quarantined in our respective countries. But uh, that that's that would be cool. Yeah, I hear Zoom is a good way to, to practice. Oh, really? Yeah. The Zoom thing, as I've heard of this Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I mean, anything like, about any of this shit. You can go one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and, and uh, it's it's a lot, it's a less less laggy. From what I hear, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check out that's easier because, like, trying to do stuff on the computer and all that band, uh, what is it, garage band stuff, I'm not great at it. I can get a couple tracks down just... It's better to record on my fucking phone and send it to somebody. Then yeah. I'll have to go to a studio and just fucking pay somebody to do it for me because I'm I'm that inept. I'm fucking completely inept to this stuff. Yeah, I feel that. My pedals, you know. Yeah, I feel that. Well, so I plug amps in. Okay. What What would you say for someone who's probably starting a band? You know, during this time, probably like kind of, kind of. Yeah, dude, this is like this is the time. I feel like this might be the time to start one. You know, if if That's you're actually, if, yeah. you know, I'm, if they know about Zoom, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, um, yeah, this is a great time to sit. Anybody who's starting a band, try to read some fucking books so you can write some fucking lyrics. So seriously, I mean, like, like really, just take that extra time out of the fucking day. It helps so much because like everybody's always struggling with lyrics, struggling with lyrics. Everybody talks to, you, and it's like just fucking read a little bit, and it makes your read brain work in words, you know. Yeah, that's like the, the one thing I tell if somebody wants to start a fucking band is fucking read some books. Seriously. Yeah, for sure. That's that's like that is rule number one. Read a book, read a poem, read something. Give yeah, yourself read a poetry, read some shit like that. You know, it's fun. It doesn't have to be like all stupid or anything like bullshit they gave you in high school. And there's all kinds of good shit out there, especially like fucking Ray Bradbury short stories. Nobody that doesn't cut into your fucking day you know i mean like and, and it's all, all these ideas and stuff and just like right just fucking plagiarize on the on the song over that shit don't yeah know you can rewrite <laughs> you can people don't realize you can just rewrite what they wrote in yes. a different way yes. that's what the sources are for yeah that's totally what it is you know and everyone yeah. has fucking done that shit everybody has mm -hmm. just like everybody's played the same notes that you you're playing on the guitar exactly led zeppelin all of that was pleasure, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, yeah. every fucking lyric was an old blues lyric. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, Jimi Hendrix, all of his shit was covers, you know? A lot well, of it was. Man, Jimi wrote his fucking lyrics, so. No, Jimmy did write. Jimmy wanted to. He was a far out dude. He could write yeah. some fucking lyrics. He was a little more confident. He could have definitely done a lot more, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. He needed, been four more years, you know? I, you know, the Miles Davis thing, if you would have just fucking made that album Miles Davis, dude, like that. Oh, God, man. God damn. What kind of weird yeah. shit? How, that could have changed the 1970s. That could have just changed everything that came after it, you know? Well, so on that note, but, um, what, so what, how long before you got onto a label? Like, what, what do you like about, why are you with, uh, you know, Easy Rider as opposed to not just doing all this by yourself? Uh, well, that was a long time. I mean, like, it's, we've been on Riding Easy a long time. Um, we got on, we were one of the first, first five bands. So, so it was, it was just starting, like, the vibe was awesome. Um, it was really, uh, focused on the, on the skate community in California. Um, it was, it was. To get, I'm going to ask you a question. Hold on. You're frozen. <laughs> yeah, this thing. Yeah. Got it? 
Okay, yeah, one more time. Why ride it easy? My bad. Um, well, he had bought some of our seven inches, and uh, we were in contact that way because we already released a seven inch with two songs on it. With uh, Jason Morales recorded that at the Barbecue Shack here, and um, he bought like four copies of it because we had different covers and shit. And those covers, I don't know if anybody's listening who owns this, but like, I think there's only 700 of them made or whatever, but. We put a different cover. One was Wicked Lady, the album Wicked Lady. And then um, we did Dope Dope Throne. Or Dope, uh, yeah, um, Electric Wizard. But we made them all well covers instead. So Lisa drew them and her friend Casey. And so we had these different covers. And that was our fucking shtick. That was our sales thing. It was like, oh, look, these are the bands we listen to. We're going to make like our own version of the covers and sell these seven inches, you know? <laughs> so we fucking sold them out and he bought four of them he bought every cover and then he approached us and we did it but yeah we were one of the first I think five bands on there with Mono Lord and Electric Citizen wow oh, fuck, I, can't, I can't remember who else was on there so he, yeah, he this, was a long, this was a long time ago now so it was just an old school relationship then so y'all, he literally just like heard your music liked it y'all yeah. liked the relationship and did it yeah totally we were stoked and we were stoked on the vibe and everything you know I mean this shit was like, you know, this wasn't popular stuff at the time. So it was, uh, it was awesome that he was interested in doing something like this and it's worked out okay for me. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I really love, I actually really like that, that label and like everything that he represents and the bands that he represents. I mean, they're all pretty, pretty rad, you know? Yeah. Everybody Dana's, Dana's the, a good dude and he's my friend. Yeah, he seems like a really nice guy too. I, I actually I, I got a I got a, a coffee mug from him um, during meditation, oh, yeah. and and it, I got I brought it home and it was uh, it was in pieces, and I took a picture of it right and put it up and I was like, oh man, I've been waiting to get this and it's in pieces, and he sent me a new one in the mail just within a couple of days. Yeah, he's I mean he's he's a really fucking good businessman. One second. Yeah. yeah, he's on top of his shit. He's not going to bum anybody out, you know. Especially, you know, he's going to replace the shit. He's going to get it as soon as he possibly can. So he, he's, just, he's, just, he's a solid fucking dude. You know? Well, hell yeah, dude. Well, um, did you have any music to re- recommend that maybe you've been listening to during the shutdown that you didn't hear before? Maybe we can check out real quick the song or so. Man, I don't know. What's going on right now? I've been listening to this Big Scenic Nowhere. Do you know about Big Scenic Nowhere? No, I've never heard of that before. Yeah, well, we, me and Lisa did a couple of songs. I'm, yeah, I'm, still, I'm just plugging myself. Um, <laughs> fucking, no, it's okay. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's like, a, just look, look it up. It's, it's fucking awesome. It, you know, it's I'm looking it up right now. Huh? That's why I asked that because I'm, you know, I'm always looking for new music. Uh, look, look up Big Scenic Nowhere. It's a, uh, it's a loaded cast of, of fucking, um, you know, Dang. desert rock and stoner rock people, and um, it's fucking Bob from Fu Manchu kind of put it together, and he's a guitar player, and he asked me to and, and Lisa to sing on it and write some lyrics to some shit, and uh, it. You know, having having stuff just sent to you. Oh, hold on, say it's the door. Okay. <laughs> oh hey. Oh man. Thank you so much. My wife holds the Oh, that's so cool. Ben, right? Yeah, not me. <laughs> thank you so much. I can to sleep. Yeah, of course. Well, thank you. You didn't have to do this, but I really appreciate it. Right. Thank you so much. But you have a good day. <laughs> It's dropped off. I got some cupcakes dropped off to me. What the hell? I could uh, eat a cupcake right about now. My my neighbor wanted to know where he could get his kid a skateboard the other day, and I had an extra one, an extra complete, so I just gave it to him, and he was like real, real stoked. So uh, he got me his. His wife owns a bakery. Whoa! Wait, so they're fresh? Polka dots. Yeah, polka dots. I guess. This is some shit. Uh, 
I don't know, but I'm fucking psyched. I'd be psyched. <laughs> see? See everyone do nice things. Always do nice things. Always do nice things. That's uh, yeah. But, uh, uh oh. Oh, also, yeah, definitely listen to um, Big Scenic Nowhere. That shit is fucking awesome. Bob just sent me the tracks. We took them to Chico Jones, who does all our recording and producing. And uh, we ran it through there, did the lyrics for it and stuff, sent it back. It's, a, it's crazy how good it fucking came out. Um, so, yeah, Big Scenic Nowhere for sure. But, like, what else I've been doing is I've been listening to, like, a lot of classical music and uh, what and dub reggae. <laughs> What kind of classical music? I, I've been listening to like piano concertos, uh, like Rachmaninoff, a whole bunch. I've been going through to find new new Russian ones. I listen to Gustav Mahler a lot. Um, Ooh. You know, when you first meet somebody, you're like, is it fine if I just like take my pants off? And that's usually how I hang out in my room, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't really have boundaries, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's like, well, if you don't like this, you can leave. Yeah, you're like, if it's, if it's you can wait outside. <laughs> at their house, I'll have some shit like that. Like, at their house, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But, like, at my house, it's just like, oh, yeah, you can leave, I guess. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, this is me. You're getting the whole deal right fucking now. Right now. I drive a dump truck. Yeah. <laughs> I wear one pair of underwear. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. Hell yeah. Well, um, I think this thing's probably going to cut us off here pretty soon. Uh, I was going to give you all some time to plug anything that you all have coming up or anything like that, if you, if you wouldn't mind, for everybody. Um, you know what? I don't know. Everything. All of our festivals are canceled. Fucking tours. You know, we're, we're, we're our booker in, in Europe is talking about October, but who knows? Like, we have no fucking idea. I guarantee you that I'm going to have most of an album written when I get out of this bitch. So you can look forward to that. That's awesome. Yeah. As far as that, just buy band shirts from fucking everybody you know. Like, if you can scrounge up the money, buy a band shirt from a fucking band. Because, I mean, we, we, we live, like, completely beyond poverty. And um, it just helps so much. And not just us. I mean, we're doing better than most bands. We can use the fucking help. Don't fucking disregard. But um, we 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 need the help. But everybody, just if you if you got friends that are in bands and shit, and they're trying to make it off this shit, fucking buy all their merch from them if you can. I know everybody's broke now, but like, like we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know everybody's fucked though. I know everybody's fucked. Yeah. So it's it's I understand. But I mean, if you can scrounge up. The 15 whatever dollars you know buy a band shirt from somebody all right well on that note do you have any any last words of encouragement for anybody maybe who's down in down in their their dumps and you don't you know I maybe mean, you you really just, said, don't fucking leave your house you, you go walk the dog or something don't leave your fucking house i mean my mom's a nurse and um she has to deal with all this shit all the time and we're passing it without knowing it so it's it's just going to end up fucking killing people who are trying to help and all this shit. It's just like, stay in the fucking house or just go out when there's no one around, you know? Or wear a mask, for God's sake. Shit like that. Because this will fucking end. And the sooner we fucking buckle down, it will end. So we're going to be okay, but this is fucking dangerous. And if we want it to end, quit going outside and fucking around with your friends. Stop it. Don't go fuck anybody. Don't, don't go have drinks in your friend's fucking living room. Don't do that shit. Sure. Get home. Or, or it's time to pull out the, you know, the, the Halloween costumes and the masks, you know, if you're going to go yeah. fuck Wear if you're gonna If you have to do this shit, wear fucking gloves and a mask. And take your shoes off where you come in the house. Take a fucking shower when you come home. You know, shit like that. Protect yourself and protect other fucking people, too, if you want to go out and do selfish shit. I understand, whatever. But, like... It's other fucking people. We don't know when we're passing, so... And it will end. It will end, everybody. It's gonna fucking end as soon as we cut the shit, so... All right, man. I want to well, play again. Quit fucking going outside, you know? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, well, 
All right, man. Well, I've had a, I've had a blast talking with you, dude. And uh, if uh, if you got anything else going on, just holler at me. Or if you want to try and plan anything to kind of help you guys out in any kind of way, let me know, man. I'll try and organize something for you. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for this. This was really fun. This is awesome. I'm, I'm going to start doing this shit with my friends. I see everybody's doing this. I'm going to do this. But I really appreciate well, this. Thank you so much. Well, no problem, dude. I appreciate you, dude. It's been, it's been a pleasure working with you guys every time we get a chance to... So. All right. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, it's always awesome. And take care of yourself out there. Take care of that bird. And uh, yeah, have, have a good day. You too, man. Talk to you later. Thanks, dude. <laughs>